Hello and welcome to the Spotlight Trader and Manager introduction video. I'm going to very quickly show you what these two panels are capable of. And if you'd like to know a bit more about each of these features that you can see here, you can refer to the other videos which are dedicated to each of these sections. But uh, in order to keep it short, let's go ahead and see what these two panels offer. We're currently looking at the trader and as you probably imagine, the sole purpose of this thing is to make your life easier, to make your trading decisions and the ability to take these trading decisions much more flexible. First of all, uh, the way this software works is we start from the very top and we go towards the bottom. What do I mean by that? Once you have identified any given trading opportunity, you place the software on the chart, you select the type of order, let's say that we're looking for market buy, for example, you see the three lines appearing stop loss, the entry line and the take profit line, adjust these lines visually on the chart anywhere you'd like to uh, execute this action. Then the second step is to select the risk, you can choose from multiple options in this case let's go ahead with fixed money amount and for this particular trade let's say i would like to risk 50 dollars once i click and the software recognizes uh, whatever information i have input in there you can see that the statistical part is also shown plus we are now looking at the bottom which was not available until now so the software is telling you basically that at the moment you're ready to pull the trigger on this buy limit order, right? If we push this line above the current market price, it will automatically uh, select that you're looking at buy stop, right? So this is also covered and this is pretty much if you're going to use it as a simple trade uh, trader here, no extra conditions. However, if you would like to have some further uh, condition on how and when to place this buy limit order, you can use any of the features below. As you can see, there is time-based entry, which means you're waiting for a given time to be reached. Let's say there are news NFPs coming, you want to uh, set the order only after the news. You got to leave, you can do that. You can do um, entry based on conditions, if statements, and the list of the indicators is pretty much full. Of course, this list is being updated uh, almost on a weekly basis. You can do breakouts of any sort. You have uh, breakouts and close, which means horizontal lines and trend lines, triangles, wedges, all of this could be done using the drawings feature section. You have predefined indicator sequence, which is giving you uh, the more complex indicators, like let's say stochastic has two lines, right? So we have stochastic cross up, we have stochastic cross down. You can do divergences because we have MACD, uh, very detailed placed for moving averages, histogram, you can pretty much do whatever you want. We have a moving average process, so this is also covered and it's rich, okay? We, we, we can do a lot. Then you have the two-step entries, which is uh, something available in MT5 already, but unfortunately in MT4, we don't have this feature. Basically what the two-step entries is, you want to say, okay, if the price goes here and then the price goes here, at this spot, I would like to be selling. So let's say that you're looking at trend line breakouts that you'd like to be catching, breakout, pullback, continuation. So you can set this motion, let it break or close or just break out. Then I want to see the price coming here or closing above or just touching this level. And if it happens, I want to be selling. So this is what, um, in very short, the trader is capable of doing. And then let's go ahead and check the manager. The manager, on the other hand, will help you 
to manage an order once you're already involved uh, in any given market. On the very top, once again, we're looking at the top and we're making our way down. Okay, this is how it's designed. So on the top, you're going to select the position that you'd like to work with. You can see the ticket number, the symbol, the direction, uh, plus the lot size. Below, you have a list of pending orders if any is available. The second thing you want to do is fill in right here the lot size or the volume that you're going to work with. So let's say you want to be doing partial close, close 50% or close 0.02% of this order. You can place that here. Okay, so you can do partial close, you can do full close, up to you to decide. And then once you have selected these two things on the top, it's time to decide how exactly are you going to manage this position. Once again, you have time, you have indicator, which could be used as trailing, and you can create your own conditions. You have the drawings and the studies once again, which means if a given level, let's say, is broken, trend line is broken, a wedge is broken, a range is broken, you want to get out of this position or you want to take profit. Then you have the indicator sequence, which is, again, a combination of uh, indi indicator step like crosses and so that could be triggering any of the execution algorithms. As you can see, you have uh, a few options. You can be deleting pending orders. You can be closing positions partially or fully. You can be moving the stop loss to, to break even. You can be doing stop loss to break even plus partial close. And the idea is to give you as much flexibility as possible so you can handle your open position uh, in an adequate manner. And of course, at the bottom, we have this two-step management, which is extremely useful because um, sometimes you're afraid that there could be false breaks. Sometimes you're afraid that there could be divergence against you. This is another way to handle these things, OK? What do I mean by that? Let's say you're buying here and you are afraid of a false break. If the false break happens, you want to get out. You can put this condition right here. You're looking for buys. Uh, if the price does this and goes below, creating convergence, you can be doing management as well. It gives you, again, a lot of flexibility, giving you two-step condition. So this is pretty much. Uh, what these two softwares can do for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching.